with version 1.12 of OpenTunes, we now have the ability to create basic sprite sheets. If we go to File, Output Settings, and then change our file options, you'll see we now have Sprite Sheet. If we click on these options, you get this menu. The first option is the format, which will allow you to decide how your sprite sheet is going to be formatted, whether it will be as a grid, vertical or horizontal images. Generally, it will be best to go with a grid. Then you'll have padding. Padding is usually used for when you're doing tiles which are going to be flush against each other. So usually if it's a character, it doesn't really matter. If you're making a sprite sheet which you're going to use to create landscapes with, you will often have tiles which will be flush against each other. And if you have padding, you can prevent your colors from bleeding into each other. Then we'll have scale. And very often you will want to scale your image down from your initial drawing. It's usually a better practice to make your original images larger and then scale them down. That way if you ever need to update your game for a higher resolution device, you will not have the problem of if they are bitmap images that you will have images which are too low in resolution. I'm just going to change my camera's dimensions here and I'm going to change my camera to be a square camera. So the ratio is going to be 1 to 1. With sprite sheets you will usually be using a camera which is square. Most game engines will find it more efficient to run a camera which is square and generally you will use powers of 2. So 2048, 4096, 512 because these values are more efficient for a computer to run. So I've just scaled my animation for the camera. Okay, now I'm going to render the sprite sheet. So I'm going to open my output settings again. And I'm just going to change my options and I'm going to lower the scale down to 25% of the original image. And I am now going to render it. If I open the folder which I've rendered to, you'll see two files. We will have a text file, which will have all the basic information for the sprite sheet. And here if I open it, I'll have the final sprite sheet. As you can see, there's a couple of empty frames. These frames are actually empty in the animation. And it will render the sprite sheet with all of the frames in numerical order which you can then use however you need to.